What's good, everybody? This is the Big Show I want to see, and welcome to NBA 2K14. Now, I got this game on the first day, but I am making this on the second day because I was really busy the first day. You know how it goes at school. But anyways, I'm here with my career. Elliot McCoy is going on over here. He is a player coming out of Kansas, and he has his pre-draft interviews with the Los Angeles Clippers, the Brooklyn Nets, and the San Antonio Spurs. Now here is a little background while the NBA draft does go by. I'm going to let it go by just so I have something in the background to kind of explain Good how Elliot McCoy's career has gone. NBA draft. So he's a 20-year-old currently during this draft player. period. He's going to be 21 Tonight once the season the starts. Of years of and as their he stayed in college for NBA. one year. Um, now, nobody really gave him a chance until his high school coach gave him a chance. He was the starting shooting guard at his school, and while he was in high school, he was about 6'3", but he did grow uh, during college. He is now 6'5", and 207 pounds, less than his 205 pounds. Um, he went to Kansas University, and he ended up being the shooting guard there, but he didn't get much playing time. He was behind Ben McLemore, and he really only played the whenever they got garbage draft, the He wasn't really talked about much at all. He was just there. People knew about his talents, but whenever you have someone with Ben McLemore who has the talents and better, that McCoy does. With the third pick well, in the people kind of NBA draft, are confused as to why he's even going to the draft, why he was even accepted into the NBA. University. But what the NBA does see is how well he did in high school. With and he's finally going to be into the NBA, NBA draft, but the is he going to be on the Clippers? Is he going to be on the Nets? Or is he going to be on San Antonio? University. Those are late first picks, and that's just how people see him. As a late first NBA pick. Draft, and that's sadly Sun how it's going to be. Alex Len McCoy of works really hard, and he did work really hard to get up here. With the and this is where he's going to be NBA kind draft, of having to show off his skill. Now, yes, let's Orleans see. Pelicans if you were to go to the Clippers, select. you'd get pretty much no Nerlens playing time Noel whatsoever. He's going to be behind J.J. Redick in Jamal Crawford. So he's not going to get about any time there. If you were to be accepted to uh, the Brooklyn Nets, NBA draft, well, the Kings he's not going to get any playing time ben there either. Mack they already have Joey Johnson. And then if he goes to San Antonio, well, the the there's Manu Ginobili, who's not great, select. he's old. And at this point, the Spurs, you know, they, they always find a way to have winning seasons, but... Their shooting guard, the their shooting guards aren't really the best. I mean, you could put Danny draft, Green in the shooting the guard, but he's more of a small forward, and Kawhi Leonard plays small Trey forward. Burke so he's more of the sixth man of the Michigan. team, unless you want to move him to shooting guard and move Kawhi Leonard to small With forward, the pick or the vice versa, of course. Draft, but yeah, um, I'm going to speed it up over here once CJ McCollum does McCollum get picked by the Portland Trailblazers. So um, I'm sorry if the kind of spe speed up voice, music, volume, whatever you want to call it, it sounds kind of weird but I just want to speed up through these picks until maybe one of my picks go through but yeah um he was expected to go as a late first rounder and uh, maybe even an early second rounder but after seeing these pre-draft um, people he's kind of getting his he's kind of getting happy he's kind of being like wow I'm not gonna be a second rounder because he did not do well in the rookie showcase at all where the prospects go to play and that's where you got to see whether you're there going to be great or not. And as you can tell, McCoy didn't really get that much playing time. And he didn't get much playing time in college either. So that was a big game and he did not get much time. He didn't even get the start. And of course, whenever he did come in, he had to go against none other than Ben McLemore. But over here, over here, sorry about that. The Clippers do select Reggie Bullock. You see, With the more than likely, the 2013 more than NBA likely, draft, McCoy trash talked both Nets and the Clippers, Andre saying, "I do not want to sit my ass on this University bench." So, with the 28th pick, is With the, the San Antonio the Spurs going to select draft, McCoy the select or the Nuggets? Rudy Gobert from France. No, the Nuggets go with Rudy Gobert. 
Now, with a 20th with pick, pick will the Spurs select the McCoy? Draft, the San Antonio Spurs select the 20 year old shooting guard. Yes, from sir, the they do. Elliot McCoy has, is now a San Antonio Spur, and he is excited. Six foot five, 205 pounds, and he did absolutely awful at the rookie showcase with not much time either, anyways. Yeah, baby, this is where it all starts. Let's get out there and ball. So here he is at his first game. He is coming off the bench as the 12th man. So he's the 12th man on the roster, but hey, this is the San Antonio Spurs. They're already loaded with shooting guards, but hey, he's a rookie. Who cares? So over here is his first time to play. McCoy has the ball. McCoy's dribbling around. Jared Bayless on him. And he's trying to find someone. He gets a screen, but he kind of avoids the screen in ways. Uh, he's dribbling around, trying to find something, and he's kind of just wasting time. He finds himself open, but misses the jumper. That could have been an, the first two points of his career. But over here, Jared Bayless gets swatted by McCoy. A great defensive play, and McCoy's not really known for his defense either. Wow, nice play, and over here, he's open for three. You cannot give McCoy that much space. This man is a marksman, and he can shoot that with ease. Over here, McCoy is open. He goes ahead and takes the jumper, and now he has five points on the game. And as you can tell, he's showing the doubters that he's great. Over here, just the three. Oh, nice shot, but he just misses. Goes around the rim, and yeah. Over here it's the fourth quarter. McCoy, kind of used to it by now, not getting playing time, but he's hoping to get playing time soon. He gets the jumper over here, and he makes it. Seven points from McCoy, and he uh, he likes to attempt shots a lot, and that's what people do not like to see from him. Over here he plays okay defense, but it's Mike Miller going to the post. You're not going like, to expect him to throw it down or anything. McCoy over here on the fast break, he misses the layup. He's not strong enough, but he does get his own rebound, gives it off to Bellinelli, and Bellinelli just throws it away. That was a funny possession, to be honest, as he got his own rebound, and then Bellinelli just throws it away. But anyways, the San Antonio Spurs destroy the Memphis Grizzlies on opening day, and that is about it. Here are his stats, 9 minutes, 7 points, 1 rebound, no assists, no steals, 1 block, and he shot 38%. Anyways, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all later.